and breaking tonight, a shark attack off Plymouth. Take a look at the video and you can see where the great white shark sank its teeth into the kayak just feet away from two young women. And that was just the start of their terrifying time in the water. News Center 5's Julie Lonchek is live in Plymouth tonight with the breaking details for us. Julie. Heather and Ed, hours after their ordeal, these two women were still shaking, still visibly upset. They know these waters well and tell me this was easily the most terrifying moment of their lives. 5.30 Wednesday evening, a beautiful late summer day. Best friends Ida Parker and Kristen Orr had taken their kayaks out to see the seals. They could have no idea what was lurking below. I looked back at her and it came directly out of the water underneath the boat, launched her backwards and flipped me over. It happened so fast that all of a sudden I was talking to her and next thing I'm in the water and I just see a shark as close as you are to me biting my kayak. The two were off Monument Point in Plymouth, 150 yards out, panicking, remembering. It was a dark gray, um, pointy nose, big teeth, big eye. It was like right next to me. Yeah. It was petrifying. I, I didn't I didn't know what the minute I saw it, I knew it was a great white. The two were able to call for help and then began screaming. We didn't know where it had come from. We didn't see a fin. We didn't see anything. So we had no idea if it was gonna come back. Thirty minutes passed. A good Samaritan even paddled out in his own kayak to help. Eventually the harbor master arrived. Help was there. The shark was gone. But its bite, all the evidence a marine biologist needed for confirmation remained. You feel so lucky. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'll ever kayak again. I I might. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not anytime soon. They can laugh about it now. They say they can either laugh or they can cry. Experts say this was very likely an investigatory bite, meaning the shark was trying to figure out whether or not they were food. Lucky for them, the shark decided they weren't. We're live in Plymouth, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.